I already make a lot of mistakes in the kitchen, we know this. But what if there was a world where I made even more? Is a question no one has asked. But we will find out today. Hannah Hart, step aside. Actually, wear it. She has stepped aside. Where is she? Anyways, that's right. As you can see from the title, today I am going to try and cook a gourmet meal drum. I thought this could be fun and interesting. What's gonna happen? We'll see. So, what is a gourmet meal? When I think of a gourmet meal, or like a quintessential, basic, like cartoon image of a gourmet meal, I think steak, mashed potatoes, and then maybe like a little green bean. That to me is like classic meal. So that is what we will be attempting today. Obviously I don't eat meat, so I'm gonna try and make a vegan steak seitan base. And then mashed potatoes and green beans and hopefully I don't die. Everyone take a good look at my fingers while we have- just in case, you know? <laughs> Actually don't. Don't look that close. I need to trim my nails. Oh. Also, no. We're not gonna manifest that. What if I literally turn into like an amazing chef? What if this is the best meal I've ever made? Anyways, that is what we are doing today. Do we like that idea? Because that's what I'm doing. It's also really exciting news that I plan to do this tonight because I just got the call sheet for a shoot tomorrow and I have to be in Simi Valley at 8 a.m. I don't want to get too drunk. You know, I'm thinking three drinks. You know, I feel like three drinks is like drunk territory. Two drinks is just like tipsy vibes. One drink is just breakfast, am I right? No, I'm not right. That's alcoholism and it's not funny. Okay, so I am not drunk now. That's I. That's obvious, right? So I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna get to cooking. But sometimes you don't always feel like cooking. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video. Y'all, we got a sponsor. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Guys, I'm so excited to be working with them. I've been a fan of Factor for a couple years now. I've been using them long before they reached out to me. But if you don't know, Factor takes the stress away from mealtime with delicious, ready to eat meals. Their meals are fresh, never frozen, chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to eat in just two minutes. You guys know I love cooking but I also love not cooking and having factor meals on hand just makes the week so much easier They're delivered right to your door with over 35 meals to choose from per week including options like keto calorie smart vegan and veggie They have something for everyone. I first got into factor when I was like starting my fitness journey I started working out with the trainer and he recommended them and it was so helpful to have meals on hand with all the macros already there on the back They make it so easy to stick to my nutrition goals Especially on those days when I don't feel like cooking even when I get a bunch of groceries and plan on cooking stuff throughout the week There's always moments when I just want something quick or I'm feeling lazy and it's so nice having factor meals there for me, ready to heat and eat in just two minutes. In those moments, sometimes I'll order delivery food, I'm not proud of it, but ordering food can be way overpriced, and half the time it shows up cold anyways. Factor is cheaper, way more delicious, literally the goat cheese pasta is Ugh, I'm obsessed. I've been ordering it for like two years. And when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. They offer plans ranging from four to 18 meals per week, and you can pause and reschedule your deliveries anytime. Like I said, I've been using Factor for a long time now, and in that time, they've evolved. They now offer loads of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, small bites, and more to help me get through the week no matter what I'm up to. You may have seen me talk about HelloFresh in the past, but Factor is actually now owned by HelloFresh. I love using both brands. They both have their place. And now you guys can enjoy both at a discount with me. If you've never given Factor a try, I definitely would recommend. They've helped me so much with my fitness journey, but also my not wanting to cook dinner journey. <laughs> Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use my code andrewlau50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That is code andrewlau50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first order and 20% off your first month of orders. Go give them a try with my code. They make it so affordable. Honestly, I might check and see if I'm allowed to use my own code. Thank you so much to Factor for supporting my channel. Literally love y'all. And thanks to you all for hearing them out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, hi, I'm back. I been indulging responsibly indulging responsibly also I don't have any wine glasses because I broke them all so I'm using whatever this jar is okay but let's get started on the vegan steak because that's definitely gonna take the longest I'm gonna follow my friend Richard Mackins Mackin I just called him my friend and I don't even know how to say his name <laughs> school night vegan love him he has a vegan steak recipe so I'm gonna try and follow it I will link the recipe below if you would like it but it seems pretty simple basic like seitan sort of vibe. Nothing I haven't done before. Like any seitan, you know, it's usually a wet mixture, then mix that with vital wheat gluten, and then we're probably gonna steam it. So the first step is to caramelize some red onions and vegan butter. Okay, I have a red onion, I have some Miyoko's, which rest in peace. Guys, did you guys know about the drama? Did you know that the company ousted Miyoko Shinner? The founder? I don't know. Capitalism, shareholders, I don't know what happened. Okay, about 40 grams of this. All right, I have a knife. <laughs> okay. 40 grams. Okay, and then 150 grams of red onion. Okay, I love the gram measurement. It's giving non-American. Who needs a cutting board? Y'all, it's a butcher block. <laughs> I need to cut, okay, hold on. How much onion is that? What are we, how, how's that? Okay, how should I cut this? All right, y'all, it's already hitting me. We have arrived, we are here. I am not sober and I have a knife. 
Okay, let me go get this cooking. The butter is melting, and then once hot, we're gonna add the onions. Wait, guys, I can't believe we're only at the start of this video. We're only on step one. I feel like it's been like three hours. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, I, oh my god, I just sold an item on Depop. Guys, if you want clothes, I have them. Well, do you want them? Okay, I'm gonna go. All right, I'm putting that. Oh no, guys. How did Hannah Hart do this? That's what they look like. And then once those are caramelized, we're gonna blend them up with some beans and some other stuff. I, just wait. <laughs> we're now gonna add a teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. I don't feel like measuring. That's like a teaspoon, right? Okay, and instead of putting this in a blender, I'm just gonna use my food processor because we are gonna put everything in the food processor eventually. Mm, the butter tastes amazing. <laughs> Once that's done, we're gonna add a 400 gram can of cannelli beans. Sorry, I'm burping. All right, can opener is happening. Okay, it's no longer happening. <laughs> Hello. But I think we add this to this along with 150 milliliters of water. Okay, there's that. And then these are probably done. That's been on there for a while. That's what they're looking like. Gorgeous. Okay. Then two, two stock cubes. There's one. There's two. And then two tablespoons of Marmite. Shit, wait. Y'all, I can't find my Marmite. I know I have it because of that Florence Pugh video. Maybe I threw it away when I moved? All right, what's a, what's a replacement for Marmite? Let's see, I don't have any pavement tar. I'll just replace it with soy sauce though. They're on the same line in the recipe, so I feel like maybe they're similar, I don't know. Hello? Okay, there's one. That was not one. That was more than that. That was not two. That. <laughs> Three. Sure. Okay, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. A teaspoon of mustard powder. Vegan gravy granules. I don't know how. I guess I'll just throw another stock cube in. That works for me. Oops, okay. And I thought I had Worcestershire, but I guess I do not have that either. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> Sorry to this recipe. But I think it'll be fine. Okay. Lastly, three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Maybe a little extra. There's two. And that is, a, that's enough. Okay, and that's everything. That's our wet ingredients. Now we gotta blend this up. Where's the... Hold on. Let me be better at my job and do this over here. I got an extension cord, y'all. Okay, that looks nice and mixed. Now we're gonna add 300 grams of vital wheat gluten. Okay, that's... Not 300 grams, but close enough. All right, and now we blend this up until we get a stretchy dough. Oh my god, wait. I feel like this is the first time in a long time I've made seitan on this channel. Everyone, if you aren't familiar, vital wheat gluten, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how's it looking? Not bad, good. Oh, wait, okay. Guys, I was not reading the instructions. <laughs> I've been blending this for like five minutes, but it says to stop blending and let it rest for five minutes. And then blend again for like two minutes. So I will do that. But she's looking good, very nice and stretchy. It smells good. Okay, it's been five minutes, or maybe more or less. I'm not really sure. How was your nap? Are you feeling rested? Now we're gonna blend it for two more minutes until it becomes gummy and stretchy. I think I accidentally already did that, but sure. Oh, that was the wrong button, sorry. Hello? Making sure my shoes are tied. Okay, the whole table is shaking. I am so sorry to my downstairs neighbors. Okay, here we have the dough. This is our steak. It smells good, it smells delicious. Hot as fuck. Ow. Ooh, it's kind of nice though. Like a hot stone at a spa. <sighs> oh my god. I want to put this on my neck so bad. <laughs> it feels so good. Okay, we're done with this. $30 for Hulu. Sorry, just got an Apple card notification. I know that's a joke. All right, here is our steak dough. Now we are gonna cut this into four to eight segments depending on how large we'd like our steaks to be. Mm, I'm gonna go with six. <laughs> All right. Okay, now it says to push and pull the dough into rough steak shapes. Wait, what does a steak look like? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now it says to wrap each of them into parchment paper and then aluminum foil. 
Okay, honestly guys, I might not use all of these. I might just do like two or three and then keep the rest of the dough for later. Cause we're gonna steam them in a pan and they're probably not all gonna fit, but I don't feel like doing multiple batches. Okay, and then a tight layer. They're very specific about the tightness of aluminum foil. All right, here are our vegan steaks and now we're gonna steam them. All right, I got a little steaming basket here. Gorgeous. Oh, it's like a little basket. Oh, well yeah, I literally just said it was a steaming basket. Okay, here's some water. And then once that's steaming, we will put these on for 50 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, the water's boiling, steaming, I don't know, what's the term? Can you see? No, you cannot see anything, I'm so sorry. Set timer for 50 minutes. Set timer for 50 minutes. No, that, no, 50, five zero. Fix that. It's canceled, good. No, five zero, 50. Set timer mm -hmm. for, set timer for 50. 50 minutes, starting now. We got there. All right, while the steak is steaming, let's get started on our mashed potatoes and green beans. I got both gold and russet potatoes because I couldn't pick. I'll just do them both. I feel like I don't need to follow a recipe. Oh my God, you know what sounds so good right now? Ordering delivery and not doing the rest of this video. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, and then chop into chunks. We got there. Now we're just gonna boil some water and then put these in. <sighs> oh, y'all. I don't know how Hannah Hart did it. I just wanna lay down. I do not wanna cook. I want someone else to cook for me. Oh, y'all, I forgot I was filling the pot with water. All right, once that is boiled, actually, no, I'll just go ahead and put them in now. What are we doing? They can, they can heat up together. All right, Ugh, guys, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> I don't feel like cooking. I just wanna watch Instagram reels. Oh my gosh, there's cut marks on my table. You been chopping it up? I guess I guess that's because I did that. Oops. Oh my god, y'all, I have been f***ing up Facebook Marketplace. I'm basically running a thrift store at this point. If you see me on Los Angeles area Facebook Marketplace, mind your business. There's so much I need to get rid of. I really wanna replace this table. If anyone wants this table, let me know, very high quality, well taken care of. <laughs> no, but literally, I've made like a thousand dollars this month selling old stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I'm literally running a small business. Like, I'm about to file for an LLC. If y'all want anything, let me know. I have too much of things. Guys, hello. Hello. Y'all, I got distracted. I've just been on my phone. Some time has passed. I'm not sure how much. But okay, there's 25 minutes left on the timer, so I think it's time to flip the seitan. And the potatoes are boiling. I'll check those in a minute. But I guess we should start prepping our green beans. Guys, I have some green beans. Here they are. Green bean reveal. I got the fancy ones, you know, not the ones that come in the bag. These are artisanal, organic, and we have to cut all of the ends off. A little extra work, but that's what makes it gourmet, right? All right. Wait. Hold on, how should I do this? Okay, I'm gonna cut them. Wait, no. I'm gonna cut them and then put them in here. Oh, the butter. Oh, this should go back in the fridge. All right, here we go, y'all. Oh, oh, we lost one. Oh, that didn't make it. Y'all, I'm doing multiple at a time. Look at this. Groundbreaking. All right, I got all the green beans chopped. Now it's time to rinse. Oh, oppa. Wait, the potatoes are really boiling. Ah, fuck. Okay, those might be done. Oh shit, I didn't salt the water. Oh well. All right, the green beans are rinsed. Now what do I do with them? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really make a plan. What do they taste? Mmm, delicious. All right, I guess I'll just saute them. I don't really know. Oh, but we probably shouldn't start cooking them yet because we have time. Okay, let me put them in here. All right, but I do think the potatoes are done, so I feel like we should drain them. What was I doing? Oh, that just spilled on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the pot. Okay, here are our potatoes. Got that. All right, the steaks have like 13 minutes left. I guess, I guess we'll just start mashing. I don't know, what's a mashed potatoes, butter, milk? I don't know. Guys, I feel, I feel like I'm doing a bad job at this video. I said I was making a gourmet meal. How do I make this gourmet? Flaky sea salt, I can do that. I don't have any herbs. I don't have any garlic confit. I have nothing. Nothing. If I... Oh, and there's the chicken. Oh my god, guys, I got my laryngoscopy today. I know you all have been worried about my laryngitis and how it's affecting my singing career. But I have no vocal nodules. We are in the clear. All right, these are looking pretty mashed. Let me add some of the butter. I'll do like half of it. Oh, the camera's on. Hi. I 
didn't realize it was on. Okay, the steaks have like seven minutes left of steaming, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the green beans. I'm just gonna add them to a pan and cook them. <laughs> All right, y'all, these mashed potatoes are looking amazing. Very creamy. Okay, I'm adding some oil to the pan. Oh, and the wall. Okay, I'm gonna add the green beans to the pan. Okay, I did that. When the steak's done steaming, we need to get a marinade ready. Oh. Okay, it's done. The steak is done. Okay, now this is gonna be a vegan stock cube, a tablespoon of soy sauce, six sprigs of thyme, which I don't have, so I'll just use some dry, some oil. I don't know, y'all. It's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> At this point, any meal is a gourmet meal. Okay, and then a teaspoon of ground pepper. Okay, that's definitely an amount of pepper. I'm not sure. How much? Okay, and then 200 milliliters of boiling water. Okay, pouring that over. Then whisking together. Mm. Smells divine. Delicious. Okay, so that is our marinade that we are now gonna put our little steaks in. Steak reveal. Let's see how they look. Okay. A little wrinkly. But into the marinade. All right, let's see. Maybe, maybe one of them will look good. We'll see. Okay, that's not bad. That looks steaky. Oh, oh my God. Into the marinade. All right, how are the green beans? How are we doing? Let's test one. Ow, pop. It's hot. Not bad. Okay, added some milk to the potatoes. But okay, the last step with our little vegan steak, I believe, is to fry the steak on a pan with some oil, three to four minutes each side, while brushing the marinade on. All right. Got a pan heating up. Ugh, I like want to take a bite right now. Hold on. Maybe I will. Okay, this is the ugliest one. I'll take a bite out of this one. Oh, oh, wait. This is delicious. I cannot wait. Okay, the pan is hot. I'm gonna add these. Oh my god. Y'all, I cannot wait. It looks so good. Mm. Sorry. Guys, this video feels crazy. <laughs> what vibes am I bringing to the function? Be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go pour some of the marinade on the steak. Oh, y'all. Oh my god. This is so good. Wait, guys, I kind of want to add some of this marinade to the green beans. Is that crazy? Don't answer that. I just did it. Okay, the potatoes need a lot of salt. I would add like some real garlic, but I'm tired and I don't feel like it. So <laughs> there's some garlic powder. How's that taste? Delicious. Yum. Okay, honestly, I think everything's almost done. Oh, mm. that is delicious. Guys, we have arrived. We are almost done. Hold on, let me clean up. Oh my God, guys, I think we're done. I think we did it. Here are our steaks. Can you see? Here are the green beans. And here are the mashed potatoes. Y'all, we arrived. Okay, I kind of feel like this one is the better looking one, the more steak-like looking one. Oh, the other side looks very wrinkly. Oh, hold on, let me get a plate. Hold on, time to plate. Here is our vegan steak. And then we'll get some green beans. Oh my God, wait. Okay, this is looking gorgeous. <laughs> then our mashed potatoes. Okay, that does not look very good. Okay, not bad. Oh my God, y'all. Y'all seeing that? Looks like a gourmet meal to me. I mean, no, it does look like something I would get at like the Ikea food court. <laughs> and who says the Ikea food court is not gourmet? Bitch, that food is imported. From Sweden, I think. Oh my god, I can't believe we did this. Wow. I am drenched in sweat. But let this be a testament. You can do anything you set your mind to, or at least part of your mind. I wouldn't say all my brain cells are active right now. Oh, oh my god, y'all, we did it. Wait, I'm actually genuinely impressed. We made it. Oh my god, got a steak knife. Here we are. Wow, we did that. Hold on, you want a close up? Yeah, get into it. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, get the angles. Get the angles. Well, bon appetito. As they say, let's give it a try. Okay, hold on. Texture looking gorgeous. Let's give it a try. Ooh, uh, that is delicious. Wait, uh, I love satan. Absolutely, that is food. Wait, I need water. What do I <laughs> honestly, honestly, y'all, I'm not that hungry. Well, here we are. How are the potatoes? Delicious. Green beans. Also delicious. Wow, we did that. Well, let's get a little mashed potato on the steak. Mm. Yeah, that that's really good. And I did not even follow the recipe right. Okay, Richard, it's giving foolproof. 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 It's giving fool. It's giving foolproof. <sighs> well, sorry, I don't know why I started the sentence. 
<laughs> and shoved food into my mouth. Forgive me. Wow. Yeah, honestly, I feel so full. <laughs> I guess from the wine and the water. But we did that. Is it gourmet? I mean, I made potatoes and green beans. What says gourmet if not potatoes and green beans? All right. I am like really full though. I was planning to eat this with y'all, but I'm kind of ready to turn the camera off and lie down. How old was Hannah Hart when she was filming those videos? Probably around my age. Girl, <laughs> I do not have the energy she had. Mm. It's a good though. <sighs> All right. I have some Instagram reels to watch. <laughs> Guys, I hope this video was entertaining. But wow, we did that. All right, well y'all, what time is it? It is almost 11. Great. <laughs> okay, honestly, I slayed that seitan texture. Not too bad. Oh, hello. Oh. All right, y'all, I need to leave. <laughs> but there we have it. I tried making a gourmet meal drunk. And now we are here. Honestly. Pretty gourmet. You know, I didn't pull out all the stops. No, like, milk simmered with some herbs for the potatoes. <laughs> but I'd still say this is pretty gourmet. Am I in the frame? I mean, if I title the video, I try. I feel like I can do anything. An attempt was made for sure. I'm sorry, are we seeing that? Like, I kind of slayed. That is delicious. All right, I gotta go. I hope you had all had a good time watching this. Hannah Hart, your legacy will live on forever. Your liver might not. It might not. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank <laughs> you guys so much for watching. Love y'all. Let me know what videos y'all wanna see next. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.